Hey guys, what's going on? It's C Us Rice Seattle here, and today we're gonna be talking about Whit Merrifield and what he could do if we decided to trade for him. First off, 100%. If this does happen, I'm really hoping we don't give up some key pieces for the Mariners' future. And we got him for a couple years, right? Um, like 2023. So. There, there's a shot. We go for Whit Merrifield. Whit, career, uh, he's hitting 292. Um, not really a power hitter, um, but he can steal you some bases this year alone. I think he's leading the majors with 25 right now, so he's going to be fast. You can put him in the outfield if we need to, which with their outfield depth, I don't see that happening. Um all-star this year this man is going to be key piece if the Mariners want to push for the playoffs this year as they take three or four against the A's last um, series which is huge now we're just a game and a half back of a wild card spot um but back to wit um He's gonna he's gonna steal you some bases. He's gonna get on base for you right now. He has a three nineteen on base percentage. He's slugging four oh two and an OPS of seven twenty one, which isn't bad. Um, but it ain't like great by any means. The key thing is he's gonna get you on base. He's gonna be a great <clears throat> top of the order guy. He's gonna get you know he's gonna get you runs too because he's gonna get on base. And I think he fits in perfectly with what the Mariners are doing right now with the small ball kind of thing. And he's got a good glove as well. He's, you know, he's going to be a decent fielder. Uh, he's fielding right now. Actually. Oh, that's a name. Oh. At second base where he'd be playing, he's fielding a 984. With only he has a negative run. No, he doesn't. That's stupid me. Um, whatever. I'm stupid. Back back to the point though. Um, he's 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 a decent fielder. And what we're replacing him with, is, or who we're replacing for wit is Dylan Moore. Wait, did I say that correctly? I'm not editing anything out. I need this video out. Dylan Moore, who will be getting replaced if we trade for wit um not doing so great his on base is actually not like horror like horrible at all it's 272 but he's batting 185 he's batting he's batting his weight but you know he's gonna have some pop i see him more of a pinch runner though he's got 15 stolen bases He's the fast, for sure, and he can be a utility guy, but you might want him to be back down in the minor leagues. Um, but Witt is a way better player, and he's got some versatility. And, I mean, Delmore is like an average fielder. He's average at best. He's a 986, so he's about on par with wit but not kind of what you want to kind of just average defense poor offense kind of guy you want someone who's gonna hit and wit's gonna do that for you he's gonna get singles he's gonna get a ton of singles the thing is I am, i'm gonna make a video on this too about the mariners and how they could make the playoffs but dylan moore is going to be a bench player. And he did have that breakout year last year. He was a really good player last year. It's just this isn't his year. I don't know if that 2020 season was just a small sample size and he was producing. Or if it was just luck. I, I don't know. But Witt is definitely going to help the Mariners out. After we lost out on Adam Frazier to the Padres... Which also I'm not mad about. Adam Frazier I think is a better player overall than Wit, but Wit is not a bad I'll say it, silver medal. Um, but he isn't 
what I was expecting a Whit Merrifield. I mean, he's kind of the player I was kind of seeing happening, but I wasn't thinking Whit Merrifield is the first guy. Obviously, with Adam Frazier, I was thinking towards him. I was thinking even guys like Brad Miller, you know, someone with a, a, quite a bit of utility. I mean, Whit Merrifield actually fits that stature, so I'm not mad. But the number one thing about Whit is not even about him. We can. It's about what we have to give up because he's going to have such a good contract. We cannot give up our top prospects. We got to get, I wouldn't be mad if we got rid of 20 and under. So 20 to 30, you know, on the website, I wouldn't be extremely mad at giving up for wit if they're not going to fit our time period. If they're looking like they're promising and they're just super young, then maybe don't trade them just yet. I see probably a salary, no, because wit actually... I see probably a veteran player, M2 prospects going over, and some maybe some cash or wit with maybe 100k coming back. But that's all I see coming, or all we have to give up. So I don't think we're going to have to give up a lot. I mean, look at the Adam Frazier trade. The Padres didn't have to give up a lot for Adam Frazier. And wit's going to be the same because they're not power hitters. Pa- power hitters, or contact hitters, are like the guys that the the run of the litter they don't get the money that they probably deserve if you're getting on see if you're hitting home runs if you get like 50 60 home runs you're gonna get a lot more attraction than someone whose on base percentage is above 400 or who's yeah and hitting like 327 that's just a number i thought of but yep that's what merrifield and this was cs rise and let's hope that Wit can produce if we trade for him.